put these in the ground next time we're at the garden. to center myself. Off we go. Hey, Cal, what do you make of this place? It's not too shabby. Lots of potential. Yes, well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. 
This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with moles I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Another time. Some prospectors told me about a strange building. Distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Uh, let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa. Hey. Cal, look at this saloon. The monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. Hiya. Hey, Monk. What can I do for you? Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate, but one of my patrons set off to the swamp, and no one's seen her since. You don't think she went after Z, do you? Quite likely. And we both know that's Raider territory. I'll check it out. That'll put us all at ease, Cal. Zig's one of the good ones. Everyone holding up okay, Monk? Well, we're just fine now. The Raiders might have put a little spook in some of our clientele when they marched in here, but we're made of sterner stuff. Good to hear. You doing all right? Cal, my boy, I'll tell you the same thing I told those Raiders. What's that? Go ahead and shoot. But know this. You'll be blasting the best bartender on Kobo. You keep your eyes on the path ahead. See you later, Monk. Ah, uh, you know what this place needs? A working refresher? Discipline. Those mouth-breeding raiders just walked in here and made off a Z. I go off planet for one second, and the whole place has gone soft. They've got to get it through their heads that I can't be their fearless leader all the time. People have to learn to defend themselves, Grease. You can't fight their battles for them. All right, finish this thing, will you? I'm going, I'm going. Garakos, they fight to the bitter end, don't they? Especially when they're injured. Yeah, they do. A lot of beasts are like that. I learned the hard way on a family outing once. My first time leading. Tracked a Kivaroa back to its nest. It was killing livestock. No other choice but to put it down. Played the approach perfectly. Found an opening. Uh, but my family was watching, so I decided to get a little bit fancy. Lost my concentration. One of its legs slams down, inches away from cracking my spine. Mama pushed it aside in the nick of time. And finished that Kivaroa no frills. That's a close call. <laughs> yep. Hey, you corner something, it'll do what it needs to survive. Even when you have the upper hand, never underestimate your prey. Do you know about the bile maw lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Be seeing you. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realized that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Talk later, buddy. Hey, we're thinking of plugging fresh energy cores into the dams at Dredger Gorge. See if we can get them working again. Not a bad idea. Where'd you learn to do that? Old friend of ours. Top-notch engineer. Had a winning smile, too. That he did. Good friend to have around. You'd think. But the guy shorted us on our cut after a big take. 
So, Grok may have left an anonymous tip with the authorities. <laughs> yeah. Pretty harsh for someone who shorted you on a few credits. He tried to put his thumb in our slice of the pie. And our cut? Huh. That's non-negotiable. There's some folks don't deserve a second chance. Especially not the greedy ones. I'll keep that in mind. What? Listen, now that we're partners... Partners, huh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is, our relationship is an investment. And we've got bigger fish to fry than these raider hacks. I'll get to those bounties. But if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. You're gonna get killed with that attitude, cow. But on a set level, I can respect it. Be quick about it, eh? Ooh, someone's interested. I'll take it. You know this won't improve your aim, right? Why is the brood looking for you on Coruscant? Isn't that a real bad neighborhood for you these days? Let's not get into it. Good answer. Anyways, a sharpshooter named Gat Mito has been trying to sniff you out at a meatpacking facility. Brought a couple of lackeys with her, but pick off the alpha and the pack will scatter. We'll keep our eyes on the prize. Good. Hate to see something happen to you. The going's just starting to get good, Cal. A lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining priorite? Once. I found it enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. We descended to the mines. But when my back was turned, they fled. They ditched you? Yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. And the prospectors? Dead. Goraco attack. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be a lesson. Always go your own way. Sojourner. Glad you both found Pyloons all right. <laughs> Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Javi, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Man, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. There's more music to find out there, Cal. It true, then? Nick that droid back from the Raiders, did you? Uh, I don't think we met. Oh, <laughs> Lass, sorry about that. Came at you like a rocker, I did. Call me hard. Been here longer than any of these greenhorns. Except Doma, and Gulu, and Guido, and old Tall, of course. But, uh, she's... Uh, blast, there I go again. Uh, Cal, is it? Right. This is BD. Damn fine to meet you two. Damn fine. Talk later. The tale continues. When we last spoke, I warned of the Grapnel's arrival. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp, like a... like a... like a fish. Like the nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear, but... When her great jaws parted... Aye, aye, the loading ramp! Nah, nah, will you hush and let's go tell the story? <sighs> her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack 
the fisher folk yet never did see. And led by the vilest of them all, Captain Wan Yek Wet. The bearded bezel is back that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. Wait, cried Wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be a mock. I'll be requiring another from a crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal, if I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, if only I'd never stepped off my wee rock. But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure, and I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Whit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit... More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. So, you wish to hear of a time on the grapnel with the crew of the dread captain, Wanyak Wet? Let's hear it. Aye. My tenure began with quite a bump. The moment the grapnel hit orbit, her klaxons began to sing. A barrack ship full of lawful types swam out to the stars and hailed us. What be the meaning of this? growled our captain. We're some bolt fisher folk. Your transponder codes tell a different tale, came the reply. You may stand it on stolen property, you do. I have rightful quarters, said the captain. Come on aboard, and I'll surrender what was stolen. But scarcely had the lovers set boot on the deck of the grapnel. When wham! The captain's harpoon skewered them like a quailfish on a spit. Now you can't do that when you're running like, can you? Said the captain to me, grinning in his foulsome way. I'm sorry to say that I picked up the harpoon that black day. For years, I did not toss a fish back into the sea when I caught her. Well, that is until... Ah, I'm blowing you to death. I'll continue my tale soon, lad. be able to cook you scas steaks. Nobody asked your opinion, Calcastus. See, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one, with a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So don't show any. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The Raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. Don't you have a mountain to climb?
Ah, our savior returns. Let me make a proper introduction. I am Bima Ook, and this is my associate, Talimu. As you can see, we have set up a game of Hollow Tactics here in Pailoon Saloon. I'm Cal. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Ah, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. <laughs> exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Ha <laughs> Welcome back! Ready to give it to wins again.
Contest of Minds. strategy proved superior. Streak continue. Big 
kick! And it's a corner! And it's off the board! Oh, so long, farewell! And Cal comes out on top! He's advancing! sequence of play. The better strategy wins. Always. Nice try, Hotshot, but not today. That 
unit is toast! And it's off the board! We can't all be winners. I'd say nice try, but why should I? Nice try, Hotshot, but not today.
Agora! Now that's a hollow kill! That unit is toast! A solid, impressive victory for one pal, Testis! Our skiver staff was swimming upstream. Through all the tactics, I will improve my understanding. Your strategy wasn't up to the challenge. Oh, I won. That's good. Through all the tactics, I will improve my understanding. Let the battle begin! Fully played.
battle begin! Oh, so long, farewell! Oh, it never stood a chance! Now that's a hollow kill! Cal can't be happy with that round! Oh, I won! That's good! Through all the tactics, I will encrypt my understanding. have spoken, I'm afraid. Now that's a hollow kill! Cal will be 
looking to repeat that performance next round!
You have played perfectly. See you soon, champion. Another meditation chamber, Cal. Where? Inside the valley silo. No one's been inside for some time, but there are rumors. Oh, I cannot believe what almost happened to Z. Things worked out okay in the end. Thank the stars that you could help her. Back in school, one of the archival droids was destroyed in a power surge. At the time, all I could think about was how much it. Screwed up my hollow prints. How blind I was. Don't beat yourself up. We're all figuring things out day by day. Some other time, okay? I know what you are, or what it's worth. Do you now? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? The bounty could be your ticket off world. I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. And I respect anyone who keeps fighting even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, I still got it. See you around, Cal. Monk, I could really use a drink. Just a moment. You seem in a good mood. I was thinking how this cantina reminds me of a celebratory dance on my home planet. Cantina reminds you of people dancing? My people don't dance. The dance is my people. All together, without everyone's essence, there is nothing. Like this cantina. Someone ordering a drink from Monk, a joke from Gulu, a hunting tale from Mossy. All these acts combine into something greater than the performers themselves. Now is not the time to speak. Say, Cal, would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But. If you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Give information out for free? Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Anyone tell you about the mogu around the swamp? There's a mogu there? Yep. And this one's a whopper. It can snap your arms up like puerco sticks. We'll see. Well, if you're crazy enough to try, your best bet is to avoid its mud throws. Good tip. Salutations. Word is that Ravis got bumped off. Word travels fast. Sure, when there's credits to be made. Send the raiders running, and we're in business. That's right. We get back into the gorge, kickstart those dams, maybe we finally make some real scratch. Those dams are in rough shape. Think you're up to it? I know him like the hairs on my back. What Grok here means is we can make him sing again. Yeah, trust us. Keep up the good work, kid. Hey, Cal. We've been wondering something. Yeah, we've been wondering. How's a guy like you end up in a place like this? Engine trouble. <laughs> Don't we know it. So come on, kid. What's next for you? 
I've got a chance to find someplace safe. I plan to make good on it. Well, I'm no good with advice, but uh, people who... Hell, I messed it up. I'm just trying to say, listen, the happiest folk live somewhere between what they want and what they got. You know? Yeah, I hear you. Really? Sounds to me like the old man's noodle is starting to fray. Damn it, Dana, I was being... Ah, oh, forget it. Say we short the central conduit, slice it through the emergency couplings. Might be enough to get the sluice gates going. Huh. Might actually work. Garden's looking kind of respectable. New seeds, magnificent. After you've planted one, I'll share what I know. <laughs> what can I help you with? I don't see what all the fuss is about with that boy. I think she's talking about Z. It's like that's all people want to talk about. A droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, let, let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors of a week. Like what? We once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. 50 credits a pop. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Ah, not fun. See, stuff that's new is exciting, sure. But what really counts is consistency. Reliability. Quality wares, 100% guaranteed. Ooh, that's a nice one. Can't go wrong with this. I held that one just for you. This will be useful. I love that one too. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. I'll take it. You know a good deal when you see it. Bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah, and there's always one turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> so long. I found that building you told me about with the roller mines. Really? And how's your hearing? Mine's okay. Thanks for the warning. Lucky you! Find anything of value? I did stumble upon a stash. Oh, good. Well, you deserve it. Now, if only 
Finally, I can get rid of this ringing in my ears. I will be leaving Kobo soon. Where are you going? My owners have relatives on Alderaan. I will seek them out. But no matter what, I am committed to learning some more practical skills. Practical skills? Medicine, surgery, healing. What happened in those caverns was terrible. And I was powerless to help. I will learn to prevent that, Cal. It's hard to stop suffering in this galaxy, but always worth the effort. You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't... One second. Twenty cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. <laughs> 